Ludomir. <sighs> All right, dude. You've been the key a number of times. Please. Like, I literally can't do anybody else. I will pray for your success, Harbinger. Ludomir? Listen to me. They will cut you down before you reach the gates. And what do you suggest? Wait for it to be over? Yeah, everything will be tickety boo. At least. This would happen. Sure, I thought maybe Vera was in over our head, but... But this... What are you talking about? What's going on here? Over the last few years, I saw this war fill Vera with helplessness. And anger. It must have driven her to summon that thing, use it to end the war. And what did I do? I know how it feels to be desperate, to be powerless. Why didn't I help? Ah, oh, great. The Harbinger shows up, and Ludomir starts talking to himself. Hey, Ludomir, get a hold of yourself. Weren't you on your way to do something? Kill Indrig, remember? <laughs> hold on now. About Vera. Something isn't right. She survived Radica's attempt, but she's still dead. And who were all those people around her? Shouldn't they have done something to help? I mean... Vera's the godless priestess for Yarbog's <laughs> sake. I mean she was. She... She should have been safe. And yet, no! She's still dead! I will make things right, sister. Hmm. Bye bye, coldest leader. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. This is a complete disaster. Yeah. Well, something must be doing something right if you think that's the case. Fiorbor called you the Arbinger. You're supposed to show up when the world is about to end or something, right? Whatever the reason, let's get one thing straight. Vera. She gave up everything to try and better this world. Whatever she was thinking, I know she wouldn't have wanted anything bad to happen to us. Yeah. Are we finally gonna go back to the stupid amber tree? Ludomir! Y'all must look sober. And who's that with you? A reckoning. Ah. Who's? It's what I'm here to find out. Yes. <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? I still need this amber. Let's <laughs> burn up this door. I really hope we're going back to the amber tree because there was stuff to do in that room. <laughs> we can fight old fashioned or. See those dead leaders up there? Oh good, I can finally like get up there. Fuck fighting old fashioned. Love your design, but I really hate you. You're so hard to fight. Do you think that is a cracked wall? Ah, 
bad timing. It looks kind of like a cracked wall. But I don't think there's anything that I can throw at it. We have to help the others build the barricade. I'm not done here yet. Everything look easy. That was a sight to behold, mate. <laughs> no comments on the voting temple, though. Because why not? You're the harbinger, all right. If I missed this chest all along, that would be horrible. <laughs> but also possible. Come on. <laughs> I couldn't possibly get to the amber tree along the Indrix route. Because you have to go along or draw because ah, you have to go. The bridge. Then the city proper. We are safe now. Are we? I don't think so. you'd be coming this way. All right, enough pretending. Where did you hide the sword? Sword? Why are you asking about? Wait, are you the bastard who killed her? Did she kill Vera? Mm, probably. I'm the one asking the questions. <laughs> yeah, you asked about the sword, and I'm asking about Vera. A question for a question, Vera used to say. Now, like you said, enough <laughs> pretending. I know you lot were with her before she died, so I'll ask you again. Did you kill her? Ludimir is a traitor! He brought an Imperial witch to ambush us! Kill them! That would be a good shrug side time, hell? dude. My own people? Holy whiskers! They killed her! It's gotta be! Why else would they turn on us like that? Yeah. I don't know, because they're trying to bring about the end of the world and we disagree? I don't know. <laughs> Yep, okay. This is how we get to the stupid amber tree. Really, like... So you can't get here along any of the imperial paths, it seems like. No! Kill her! I'll kill her her blind side! What was that? That was a sight to behold, That was death, dudes. Swift and uncompromising. Don't like the black tarry water, but apparently nobody else seems to think this is bad. I think 
Somebody should have checked sooner why their amber tree was uh, bleeding horrible she things. She made me swear to never enter this place, no matter what happens. I hope she'll forgive me. But the sword isn't here. Unless you brought it, you know. Blood. Veras. Okay. They killed her here on this spot. Some friends she had. Oh, I should have been here. She was in pain. But I was a coward. I couldn't face her, talk to her. She wasn't the Vera I grew up with. Her eyes. She had taken on so much. I should be furious. I should smash everything in here. But instead, I feel like... I feel like that would somehow just betray her all over again. Yeah, I don't think I she'd fell prove. Off on the bridge. He was asking about the sword. You're looking for it too? Well, yes, I am. But um, before I talk to you and progress things, I am going to finally get the stupid memory. <laughs> The weight of the world. Vera gazes at the interior of the amber tree. The hollow tree trunk emanates a soft glow, casting shades of yellows and marigolds. The bark seems to pulse with life. She lifts her balalaika and plays a reverent tune, honoring the passing of the late godless priestess. Vera plays with all her focus, plucking every string with perfection and dedication. When she comes to the end of the song, a light forms a pattern in the air. Vera finishes the tune, and the pattern flashes a final pulse before pummeling inside her chest, disappearing within her. Vera pauses as a strange weight pushes against her. The amber colors within the tree coalesce before winding tightly around her, as if imbuing her. Instead of pulling away, she lets herself be consumed by the light. The pattern grows so bright that Vera has to shield her eyes. Once more, the light flashes brightly before disappearing altogether. A familiar voice speaks to Vera from within her mind. It is the ancient voice of the late godless priestess, now fused with Vera's subconscious. But the evolution does not stop. Another voice from another century past joins, echoing the first. Then another, and another. Many ancient voices merge with Vera's. The torch, the reincarnation of the next godless priestess, has been reignited. Vera can feel the change. Her insecurities have evaporated. She feels the power of the ancient priestesses enveloping her, enriching her with confidence and wisdom. Vera's priorities immediately shift. She can no longer live with a single mind or for a single purpose. She is carrying the weight of all. She is a new godless priestess, and she is being called forth. Mm. All right. Then let's go get the bloody thing. I know where it is. I'm so glad you do. I would like you to take me there. We are now officially out of time. <laughs> when I found Vera's body, there was a sword next to her. Figured whoever hid the body also hid the sword. I'm not as sharp as some, but I knew it was important, so I moved it. Someplace safe. I'll show you where. The shortest way is through the prison. Oh, good. Of course it is. I'm ready to toss you up, mate. <sighs> These chaps knew what they were getting themselves into. Ratakud may just be a small mouse, but her people do love her. <sighs> So, I do have to go through it again, and I think we do Draga's route, because that seems like the only way to get... Oh, gross. I can't even get through that now. Uh, it seems like the way to get all of them in the right place. Ah, core training. Oh, we're down here. <laughs> This is gonna suck. Although, fortunately, it seems like there's only a few ways that I can push the stupid things. Um, door? Okay. 
I think we should take the time to break stuff, and that looks horrifying. Look at these poor blokes. What did they do to deserve? Look, Ludomir! Oh, oh thank you. the gods! Help me out, brother! That I will, bro. Wait, I've seen your face somewhere. <laughs> Vision! You must be one of the bastards who murdered Vera. I'm innocent, I swear! Come on, Ludomir! Help! Please! Mm. I don't think so, brother. You are exactly where I want you to be. I hope you like your iron heart and your spikes rusty! <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's definitely involved. <laughs> so yes, we should just leave him here. You should be... Like, this is why Radica left it here, too. That should tell you something. Oh, uh, this is just disturbing. A little bit. It's total aftermath of the prison escape. You don't usually get to see it, because you don't usually come here after the fighting. Sewers. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have a nose. It's probably for the best. Further down is where I found Vera's body. If her spirit didn't guard me here, she would have rotted away. She didn't deserve this, no matter what she did. Okay. <laughs> Made it across. So, mate, what will you do with the sword? Smash it? It's what I'd do. Vera used it to release the monster. Maybe you can, uh, reverse that? That's the plan, Ludomir. Somehow. Let's do this! so I can't dodge it. for throwing a barrel one of the barrels they're throwing and not good enough to do that. Down we go. So I am going to collect all of the health because I don't think this is the last fight. <laughs> Ah. 
My vision's not what it used to be, unless I'm seeing double. But this is the same sword in your vision, yeah? It has to be. Huh? It's reacting to you. It didn't do that to me. That's because you don't know the fancy seal. But before I do that... Never thought I'd say this, but... Apparently, I'm going to kill some Someone doesn't want us messing with the sword, eh? So, what now, mate? Uh, right now I'm gonna steal a forbidden memory and check it out. <laughs> no, that's not that one. There we go. Gent sacrifice. Gently, Elia returns Claudin to his pedestal. Are you certain this is the only way? She asks. The Harbinger, the Redemption Radica, and General Elia had just defeated Kali, a being of tremendous power, a horror that surged from beneath the world. But at what cost? The battle caused a massive shockwave, spreading across Redentia, ravaging the land, killing many innocents. And the Harbinger... Only the power of a god could oppose another god. With Claudin in hand, the Harbinger unleashed Voden's power on the invader. And such power always comes at a price. The Harbinger became tainted by the void. Already her aura grows colder, darker. Slowly, the Harbinger reaches out to Claudin. A faint life pulsates from the blade, in eager anticipation. What will you do once inside? Voden will not take your presence very kindly. The Harbinger clenches her fists. Fight until the end. What else is there to do, right? Perhaps you can even win. Inside his prison, Verdon may not be as strong. Elia stops. She knows her optimism is hollow. This is goodbye, then. The Harbinger opens the seal. Then, in a heartbeat, she's gone. The sword lies on its pedestal, lifeless. How can I return to being a Pygarian general after all this? Elia lets out a deep sigh. It is time to pass on the flame, I think. She walks towards the vault's exit, then stops and stares at Claudin one last time. Draga, I hope you will never have to suffer for the actions I have taken. She leaves, and darkness engulfs the vault. Ooh! Details on what happened to the old Harbinger. That's kind of freaky. Um. Ooh. But I like it. Alright, let's unlock this. If you wish, you may speak to Ludomir to return to the Tree of Life instead. You will be able to return there from this point. Do you want to proceed? I do want to proceed. I have gone down all the other paths. <laughs> because I am very good at picking the exact wrong order. <laughs> What's going on, mate? Yep. So that whole Indrik being Firebird thing was kind of misleading. <laughs> what layer of stupidity is this? I'm asking myself the same question.
just gonna run. I can't actually fight. I guess I'll dodge. Oh, rude. Rude, evaporating the platforms before I even get there. here too. So is that what I'm doing? I'm fetching Vera. Which might kind of make sense. There she is. I knew you would answer, Harbinger. We have little time left, but I have an idea. Vodin is almost free, and you... You will need a weapon. It is but a shadow, but it will do. This, you can wield, Harbinger. Uh, I can wield, wield the prison itself. That's exciting. Um, I guess I felt this work to... Pardon me, will I go read a memory? The first memory. The old woman is facing her god, alone. Nearby, a shallow stream is reflecting a soft light from an invisible moon. Is this the afterlife? Yarbog cocks his head, slightly amused. This is a workaround. I do not understand. I chose you. Loyalty is in your heart. You will keep my secret. And this place is secret. Me? How about your priests? Or Iron Trek? Iron Trek has an empire to build. And the priests? They know nothing of true solitude. Yarbuck locks eyes with the old woman, staring at her bare soul. What is the last thing you remember? I, uh, I was praying by my husband's grave. These years, do you tire of it? She stares back, resolute, as if saying, you know the answer. Yarbrug nods and closes his eyes. He suddenly looks very fragile. Who would have thought that infusing part of your essence with the soul of a mortal could be so exhausting? The mortal? Is that the goddess priestess everyone is talking about? Yarbrug smiles. And the old woman is filled with sadness. You are dying. Don't cry. Remember what I said about this place. I will be watching. In time, my strength may even grow back. And now, goodbye. And just like that, the Arbog is gone. In his place stands a small white tree, with several naked branches, and a single silvery leaf. With a trembling hand, Damon touches the tree. Slowly, her fingers slide up and reach the leaf. Then, she is seized by a vision. She is standing in this very place, facing Yarbog, listening to his friend words. She pulls her hand back. The vision stops. I will guard this memory, and the ones to come. The woman cups her hands and collects water from the stream. She gently pours it at the base of the tree. She thinks of the life she has just left behind. The recluse old woman in the forest. The witch, they used to call her. The witch. I think I'll keep that name. Uh, Alright, now it's, now it's crazy. Yeah, I'm sure.
great harbinger. Be warned. I have watched Voden use fear and doubt as weapons, yet those are double-edged weapons. Do you see? Make Voden doubt. The part of Voden that has escaped will return to defend itself. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like fun to me. Oh, dude, I gained bones by running. I think. I do. That's awesome. Oh, hello. I am fighting myself. Be careful, Harbinger. This whole area is unstable. So close, but I was also so close to dying. Alright. This isn't a bad fight. I figured it out. <laughs> but I do want to lead in with a lethal fury flurry, so I'm gonna wait till I got three dudes. The Lethal Flurry just does so much damage. It's great. I wish I could skip this, but, you know. Apparently, I can't. Space and time in this place. Yeah, of course he does. but not defeated. You just need to die, you little squid bastard. Okay. That phase, <laughs> not nearly so bad. Oh, well, that's frightening. Not 100% sure that I want to jump down there. Especially after only getting one thing of HP. All right, voting. I'm coming. Voting is cornered. Now is your chance, Harbinger.
I love that way of carnage. It's just great. Death. So much death. My turn. I was appointed priestess for a reason. This reason. I have no regrets. None but one. Forgive me, Ludemy. You won't understand. And I'll never be able to rightfully explain. But it must be done. The godless priestess sacrificed herself, and together, the Harbinger and Vera defeated Voden. Now, locked away again in the Void's eternal prison, at last, the soul of the godless priestess flowed back to the world. But victory came at a bitter price. Radhika performed the Deathless Ritual and became the Deathless herself, permanently. Born from this newfound power, the Deathless crushed the Pagarian invaders, forcing a truce with the Empire. The Deathless became an exacting ruler, much like Emperor Indric, and the Deathless was worshipped and feared by all Rodentians. Drago was killed by the Deathless in an intense battle. Her soldiers instituted a memorial to never forget the General's bravery and fervor in bettering their end. nation <laughs> and their well-being. Emperor Indric was killed by Voden's worshippers while searching for Cladden. A new Emperor took his place and ushered a period of peace in Pagaria, at least for a time. Ludimir drank away his grief until one terrible night when he fell to his death. Drunken accident, rumors said. As for Voden, Voden was returned to its eternal prison, yes. Hmm. But I still fear for our world. Voden will do nothing else but wait for another opportunity to escape. I pray that you too, Harbinger, will wait and be ready to take arms against this force from the deep and continue to be our final rampart against darkness. I mean, maybe there's a way to save everybody? Might be, but it's not like I can talk and I can't tell them where the sword is. But. Hmm. So, yeah, I think I probably should have gone back to the Tree of Life and collected all my people, because I don't think that was the good ending. I wondered about that, because all the other ones, it's like you were collecting everybody and building your team, but then when you got to the sword, you couldn't bring them with you. So... So I wonder is if I go back and play that last day again, and then go back and try and collect people. Go with Indric to get the sword. Because I know where it's at now. The mouse was in cage, encircled by I don't know, because it doesn't seem like there's any other opportunity to get to her. Because there's a wall to break that doesn't look like it's breakable. With the mouse be. 
Yeah. I mean, I liked it. I really did. I liked the story. Uh, I liked the combat. It was a little frustrating at the end, but the enemies are just, you know, they ramp up the difficulty to keep pace with you, and I don't think I did myself any favors by leveling up my armor and shit. So, I went back and I uh, did a little bit of looking, and there actually isn't another ending. At one point, there was a video that was included that was supposedly a happier video, but... Uh, as it turns out, they removed that in a later update because it's not an ending you can get. Which, I guess, is okay. Um, in the end, it's true, the Harbinger, like, the main complaint was that you got attached to all these characters, but the Harbinger doesn't really get attached to them. The Harbinger just kind of is there to stop Vodin. And um, by, I think, leaving the Deathless piece hanging around that um, is an opportunity to come back um, because the devs have said the Harbinger story is not over. So I'm hoping that means there will be DLC. And I kind of hope the DLC um, ties in a little bit more with all the kind of lore stories that we've been given because there's a lot of unanswered questions there. I um, mean, there's that first enemy that we fought or that the Harbinger fought and corrupt and got corrupted somehow um, because they worked with Voden. I mean, are we going to go back and relive that in a DLC? I mean, that'd be, I think that'd be awesome. And then um, it's maybe you go and you play through some of the other stories, uh, maybe the one with Draga, and at the end, the Harbinger comes back because it's kind of like the Harbinger story hasn't finished, right? So the Harbinger comes back, and we have the opportunity to now rewrite history um, because we've gone through all of these other memories and we've figured out how to maybe more permanently stop Voden. But, you know, that's just my opinion, and I kind of hope we get to go back and see that in a DLC. Uh, which, I guess, when there's DLC, I'll go back and play it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, thanks for joining me with this. I don't really think I am in a good position to go find things we haven't seen. I don't think Radica's initial route is all that different from killing Indric. Initially, I'm pretty sure it's almost identical. Uh, and I could go back and try and find all the memories, but it's kind of tough. I was looking around, and at this point, I have to start a completely new game in order to try and get through that, and I, I don't know that I want to do that right now. But, in any case, if there's DLC, I'll come back and play that. Otherwise, you know, thanks for sticking with me to the end on this one. And, uh, we solved a murder mystery. Again, catch you guys next.